Welcome to another Night Hacking interview at the Geek Out conference. My name is Stephen Chin. We're live streaming at nighthacking.com, and I am fortunate to be joined by Ed Burns. How are you doing, Ed? Very good. Happy to be here. And we're going to chat a little bit about JSF 2.3 and Servlet 4.0. So we, we previously chatted at the DevNoxus conference, and um, you gave I'm an update. I'm going to get a Java land, right? Yeah, yeah, Java land is, as well. Mm -hmm. Oh, wow, we're doing really good. <laughs> and you give an update on like HTTP 2.0 and where JSF 2.3 is going, sure. but I think there's some late breaking news we can chat about. Well, let's start with the big news, and that's the uh, revised schedule for Java EE 8. Um, this was put out on the Aquarium blog. Uh, if you would like to stay current on the reference implementation for Java EE, that's the Aquarium blog. You can find it on glassfish.org. And um, John Klingen, the product manager for Glassfish, put out the new schedule. And the long and the short of it is, um, to allow for more time and for a number of reasons, uh, we're moving things out by six months. So uh, we're planning EE8 to be done uh, in the first half of 2017, rather than in the last half of 2016. So, um, you know, people will often take pot shots at EE and say it takes so long to get out, but you know, the fact is, um, the standards need to move at a slow and stately pace to pick up uh, the latest innovations from the community. And there is a, a fair amount of lead time that all the container vendors and all the stakeholders of JCP actually would like to have. So, okay, it's but not this is going to help fast. to ensure that it's um, more standard, like there's more agreement and consensus in the community right. on the specs mm -hmm. before they get finalized, that vendors actually have it fully implemented in their containers. Right. So and maybe we can have a wide variety of different. Right. So, that, that's, well, I guess that's good news. Mm -hmm. um, what specifically about JSF 2.3 and Servlet 4.0 is new? Um, well, the biggest thing uh, on the Servlet front is actually just the observation that HTTP 2 is now a final RFC. Nice. And uh, that happened in May, like May 9th or so. So it's RFC 7540 is HTTP 2 and RFC 7541 is HPAC. Uh, and there are two specifications and they're both very closely together uh, working. And um, that is nice because it removes one little question mark we had in the servlet 4.0, um, which was, uh, hey, is, it, is H2 going to be done? Because there were some times there towards the end of 2014 that um, when they were going through the last call process that there was mm -hmm. a lot of stuff was up in the air. There were still some stakeholders that had some very grave concerns, uh, but ultimately um, those concerns were deemed uh, acceptable, and the RFC proceeded through. Cool. And how is um, like um, browser adoption of HTTP 2.0? Well, that's largely been uh, driven by the huge amount of support that Speedy has already. Yeah. Okay. And so um, the main differentiator, technically speaking, between Speedy and HTTP 2 is HTTP 2 has the additional HPAC layer, Got it. and uh, However, the speedy technology was very much all of the protocol layer that doesn't have to do with um, headers. That is the binary framing and the usage of the socket and the prioritization and streams all come from speedy. Cool. OK, no, that's a very good update on some of the stuff which is upcoming for Java EE and as well as um, HTTP 2.0. It's a very good specs finally. Yeah, we're ratified. happy that, that, that you now we're glad that we can now Cross that off the list is not no longer a question mark. <laughs> cool. So great and job to the uh, the IETF people for doing that. Awesome. And um, what what else do you have planned for Geek Out? Are you? Well, uh, it's been a great show. This is my second time speaking at Geek Out. I had the pleasure of coming here in 2012, and nice. um, I was glad to come back because I have something new to talk about. Um, the way Geek Out's run is kind of different than some other conferences where they intentionally want to have a different set of speakers from year to year. So um, if, you, if you come to Geek Out as a speaker and you're like, oh, this is great, I love it, chances are the very next year it'll be hard to come <laughs> back unless you have something entirely different to talk about. Yeah, which as a speaker is pretty hard to just change up your whole career to right. satisfy the needs of a single conference. Yeah. So maybe, maybe you'll be back in uh, three more years. 2017. <laughs> yeah, yeah we'll talk about you the final talk about EE8. EE8. Right. Yeah, there you All go. Right. All right, awesome. Thanks a lot for... Uh, 
awesome interview again, Ed. Thanks. And um, our next interview is upcoming with Nitsen. So I hope you'll join us for that upcoming Night Hacking interview. <laughs>